RMX Power Control is a new generation logic environment gear providing a well organized macro ensemble structure, unique environment memory storage, and various control features, all you need to improve your RMX production. Let's have a look at some of the new features. Offering a unified point of control, the new optimized workspace provides a global overview to the synthetic chaos design and new parameter randomizer, as well as an easy and fast access to the all airfalls and envelopes, which saves time clicking the different tabs in the native Stylus RMX Synth Edit interface. New vector faders are added to the Synth page for dual control of some parameters like power filter, cutoff and resonance, widget and drive. Another addition are the mute and solo buttons, essential helpers of the sound design creativity. The main engine of the RMX Power Control is the Path Control Header. It's a new unique intelligent tool which captures our temporary work into a special internal clipboard, so you can store the clipboard as quick, safe or snapshot into a chosen preset number in this flip menu in real time. You can also save the clipboard to multiple presets or manage the snapshots in the presets menu. The moment you load a preset using the Outload feature, the internal clipboard loads the new parameters of that preset into the control header clipboard, so you can save the clipboard to another preset position. This way you copy one preset to another using the powerful control header clipboard. The snapshot presets can be controlled via external or internal program change and control change MIDI messages. Thanks to the program change presets control, you can directly recall different presets using external controller or select the presets directly from the track inspector program box in the arrange. You can also set the program names of each bank in the inspector to correspond to the program names set in the control header presets menu for a given RMX path number as well. To control the snapshot presets of all control headers, you need to send up to 8 simultaneous program change messages at a time, which seems to be a hard job. The new Ultimate Key Switcher tool does that with ease by sending up to 8 previously mapped program change messages per key press. The factory key switcher maps use logical order, but you can assign custom maps which recall different snapshot presets of different control headers just by pressing one key on our external keyboard, for example. The program boxes support autosave feature, so it's very easy to create custom program change key switching maps just for seconds. This split-screen video shows exactly what happens in each RMX Power Control Path Chip Editor when you jam your presets using key switching. Using the key switcher tool, you can play your external keyboard and record snapshot automation note events on the specially assigned track in your range, labeled as RMX Scene. A totally new machine is the parameter randomizer, generating cool beat jumping of the RMX synth page and chaos designer parameters. You can capture up to 12 parameters using the randomizer learn boxes, as well as set custom randomization of each RMX parameter. The randomizer machine is fed by node pattern sequences, which use the RMX dead MIDI channels inside 9 and 16. 
Let's select a learn box in the parameter select menu and tweak the settings. The triggering channel determines which sequence rhythm pattern will be used as beat model, while the range A and range B numerical faders determine the RMX fader range jumping. All settings are automatically stored for each parameter learn box. You can use custom names in the parameter select menu. And save the global bypass or the learn boxes on off status as a snapshot preset in the control header. So you can use snapshot automation or play live with the snapshots later. A part of the new snapshot automation, the RMX Power Control offers integrated hypersets for easy drawing or editing regular continuous control automation using a huge array of event definitions named according to the corresponding parameters of the mixer, synth patch and the chaos design editors. You can use the global multitrack to record continuous automation of different RMX MIDI parts and easy find and edit the recorded events searching them by name in the new hypersets. You can also draw or record continuous control automation using the hidden subtracts of the default RMX Power Control song template. Once you have opened some of the RMX Power Control factory screen sets using the logic menu or the corresponding key command, you can easily switch between the screen sets of the different RMX Power Control patch strips just by clicking the corresponding screen set buttons. The new screen set palette supports custom screen set number assigned, so you can personalize the RMX Power Control Factory screen sets to be recalled by other screen set numbers. Yeah.